I was born in Finland and uh, went to school there. I went to visit my sister and we saw this guy leave on a bicycle with a stick. I said, where is he going? Oh, he's going to the archery range. So one day my sister sent me to take some flower pots back and happened to be this guy's mother. And then the same weekend he took me to the archery range and that was it. I was hooked. <laughs> moved here in 64 uh, and uh, of course we sold our archery equipment before moving. Uh, it took us till 76 before I got in, back into archery. We had two clubs in the city so we needed coaching so I said well I can help. It just kept on going and then came and then really busy with the judging and stuff, and um, that's how I got into the big bone. It became like a second family. Small club like ours, a small sport like ours, we need every volunteer we can get. And if you don't, uh, your sport will die. So I just tried to keep the club going. My best moment, really, with, with these kids, these parents came with this little boy and said, we have tried, he can't do any sports. So I said, well, we'll see. So he was shooting, he learned to shoot, and when he hit the gold, his arms went up and said, I got the bullseye. And then he runs to his parents and and they are beaming and I said, there you see, you thought that your child can't do sports and look at him now. That really makes you feel that you're doing something useful.